Welcome to the Advertising, this is Dan Chaitis, and I'm here now in Calexico. We're in our home now, here is Asadero neighborhood, and uh, we have uh, one of our local talents here. He's from Raleigh, California. His name is? Sergio Bastidas. And he's going to show us some of his art. Um, as you can see, we have some of his uh, pictures. So, okay, wait, wait, before we get into it, um, what is it exactly that you uh, have here? You have pictures, you're editing, you digitally edit some of the artwork. What is, what is, what is the whole the whole uh, feature here for you well it's uh for my photography it's basically um i'm a big horror fan uh, uh so uh a bunch of movies inspired me just to shoot so most of my work uh is kind of darker on like darker side but it's also very um art what's the word uh glamour because i'm also uh, inspired a lot by the 1920s look of photography so most of the time I, I've been shooting on, like if I have an idea, I'll make a little small sketch and from there I'll pass it down to the model and from there we'll, we'll go from there. And we'll usually, I'll, I'll shoot it on digital and then manipulate it up so I can get my style into the photo. Um, it's not really that much, it's mostly just tones and colors that I change. Um, apart from that, I still shoot film. I'm still shooting 35 millimeter. I, I, I try to uh, use every uh, camera that I, uh, that I can get my hands on. Everything from medium formats to uh, pinhole camera, if you can say. But yeah, usually it's just, uh, I'm influenced a lot by, by horror. That's cool, man. I don't think I've heard of that combination. That's like glam horror or horror glam, or you want to call it? <laughs> uh, well, back in the 1920s, like, the most uh, silent movies had big name actors that were kind of, uh, they were glamour. Uh, they didn't. Yeah, cool. so if you see the promotion shots, they're usually lit really beautiful. Like, especially for the Bride of Frankenstein, which is the photo that I... Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. We're going to show this out right now. Michelle, you want to zoom in a little bit? Zoom in. No, that's fine. <clears throat> zoom in a little bit on the picture. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We'll, we'll put it there for you. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. More, 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 more. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. And you can see there. And okay, tell us a little bit about this picture. Zoom in more. Uh, well, one of my favorite uh, movies is Frankenstein. Okay. Uh, from the 19, uh, from 1931, Frankenstein, the original uh, 1931 version of it. So they made a sequel to it, and it, it stars Brighter Frankenstein, which he only comes out 10 minutes in the movie. But I digress. Um, I've been, I think she's a beautiful uh, actress, the actress that came out in it. So I've always wanted to duplicate that, that those portraits that they did of her. So I had a friend who kind of looks like the actress, and we uh yeah the girl in the photo so we, i asked her do you want to shoot this and it was one of the photos that i actually put some production in it i hired a makeup artist uh, and a stylist and a model for it we made the costume for it we set it up like a full studio in my garage i think and we shot from there and then the results that i got were really close to it so uh yeah it's it's from that oh, wow man so it's like a whole work standing here then right i mean you're you're yeah. I mean, you're just not out there just sh just shooting the picture. I mean, you're putting all the, the from the guy that's going to be your model to the makeup to the wardrobe, everything that goes with it. Uh, yeah, usually uh, from the idea to finishing the photo, it may take at least six months to one photo took uh, six years just because I couldn't get the model or the props for it until um, I went to school. They had a prop house, so I, it was a girl in a bathtub filled with blood that I wanted to shoot, so eventually I, I had the model, I had the, the space to shoot it in, and the, the bathtub. And we filled it up with, I think uh, it was 16 gallons of Kool-Aid <laughs> that was in the photo. Wow, man, so how long have you been doing this now? Uh, 10 years, uh, right after high school, well, in high school, I had my first graphic, graphic design class with Mr. Archer, he's still a teacher there. He gave me my first camera uh, to shoot with, and from there, I, uh, I went to IVC for three years, and then they banned me from taking all the classes at IVC, the photography classes, because I there was only three at the time, and I took them twice. And for the third, I wanted to take them a third time, uh, but the board said no, you, you can't take anymore. Like, so from there, I went to uh, in 2008, I transferred to Brooks Institute of Photography in Ventura, which I studied uh, photojournalism. And from there, I went to LA for a year, and then back here, and I started working for the press for two and a half years, I think. All right, man. Right now, so um, so where can people contact more of your art? I mean, of your art here. Where where can if if there's people out there that are interested, they want to check it out a little more, they want to check more in depth. What, what's up? I mean, where can they contact you at? I uh, usually they can just find me on Facebook. Just type in my name, Sergio Bastidas. Uh, I should pop up on there. It's very easy, and uh, from there you can see all my work. It's 
I update it, I think, every two weeks. It's I upload new photos uh, because there's just so much I've been working on. Some uh, Usually for shoots, I get three to four photos, and then I'll upload my commercial work besides my own artwork on there. All right, right on. So there you go, Sergio Bastidas, from a, a good, excellent talent here from Brawley. And um, Sergio, um, anything you guys want to share? You have something going on here in Calexico. There's a, there's a, a exhibit, an exhibition of your art that's going to be being held here in Calexico. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's at the uh, Culture Arts Center uh, here in Calexico. Um, it, I'm the artist of the month for December, so it runs from the, uh, next Monday, which is the 7th, all the way to the 10th, I think. It's four days, and the reception is on on Thursday the 10th at 6. So yeah, there's going to be fresh refreshments, drinks, and uh, I think I'm going to have over 20 of my images displayed, everything that I've shot for the past 10 years. Wow. All right, so there you go, Sergio Bastidas. You're gonna see his contact information here below. And uh, thank you, thank you, Sergio, for taking the time, for coming down here. We're gonna see more of his artwork right now. We're gonna be doing a little slideshow and you're gonna see more of, more of his stuff. Thank you again for taking the time to come down here in Calexico. And good luck, man, and I and I, you know, wish you the best and everything that you're doing. And you. Hopefully this comes as a handy for you yeah, too as well. <laughs> All right. All right, there you go, CD advertising, and uh, we'll be back.